Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at a situation where Photoshop doesn't honor your document setup. So if you have a set resolution in your document, that's not being honored. Now this has become an issue with the most recent version of Photoshop and I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to make my 1920 by 1080. But what's really important here is that I'm going to set the document resolution to my choice of 300 pixels per inch. I want this document to be that resolution. I'll click Create. Now I'm going to fill the document with some color. So I've got color selected here. I'm just going to fill this. Now if I was to go ahead and choose File and then Save, I will have the options that I'm typically used to having here, including JPEG. But let's have a look at the situation where you actually create multiple layers in this file. So I'm going to add a new layer here. I'm going to add a rectangle that is filled with white. So now I have a multi-layer document and when I choose File and then Save, you'll see that I no longer have all those options and I cannot save my document as a JPEG image. Now this entire video came about as a result of somebody who was watching one of my classes and encountered this difficulty. And what they were doing was what they found was to go and choose File and then Export and Export As. Because in this Export As dialog, you get the option of saving your document as a JPEG image and you get your quality option. So I'm going to select Great. So assuming that Great will give me the best possible chance of having a document saved at the resolution that I chose to have it saved to. I'm going to click Export. And I'm just going to call this JPEG1 and its extension is going to be JPEG. So having saved this document, let's go and have a look at it. And here it is in my downloads folder. That's where I saved it to. If I right click it here and look at the document properties, we're going to see something that is perhaps unexpected. And that is that the document properties are reporting that this document is 96 dpi. In other words, we've lost the resolution of the document. And that's actually going to be the case anytime you use that export as dialog. So that's not the way to save a document out of Photoshop these days. So if you can't save your document using File Save in the format that you want to use, in this case, of course, it is a JPEG format, what you're going to do is you're going to choose File and then Save a Copy because this is the new way of saving documents out of Photoshop when you want to use formats such as JPEG. And unlike this very unhelpful export export as option, this way of saving the document is going to retain the choice that we made when we created the document of the document's resolution. So here is the save as type list that we're used to seeing inside Photoshop. I'm going to call this JPEG2. Of course, its extension is going to be JPEG. I'm saving it. Again, here is the choice that we have for the quality and that doesn't have any relationship towards resolution. The resolution is what we set the document up for in the first place. So I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to create a high quality version of the document. So let's see how it looks this time. Here is our JPEG 2. When we right click and choose properties and then read off from the details tab, you'll see that the document resolution of 300 dpi has been retained inside this saved document. So when you're saving a document out of Photoshop these days, you won't be able to save your JPEG using the traditional method, but don't go and use that export export as option as tempting as it might be, because you're always going to get a 96 dpi resolution for your document if you use that option. If you want to retain the document resolution that you asked for in the first place, use file save a copy. I hope this video has been of help to you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.